All right, welcome everybody. Today, we are going to be working on this river scene. This was a river from, I think it was coming out of the um, Maury River out of Lexington. Um, and I stopped to do a plain air version up on Goshen Pass just the, about three weeks ago. Um, for maybe about a month ago. And the scene has just been stuck in my head for for several days and weeks, you know, since I did it. So I got it home and I'm working on just final touches on it. I'm just kind of grazing over the water, giving some edge work to the to the water because you need a little bit of edge work on top of water when there's um, see-through luminosity of the rocks underneath because the rocks underneath need to be softer in edge work. So um, to help enhance that idea, you can make the water on top a little more edgy so that the rocks underneath the water will have less edges. It's kind of an illusional trick with the eye, you know, in order to make the rocks soft underneath, you can do the opposite. It's kind of like that same idea I always have about mixing paint. If you, um, if you have a green and you have a little bit browner color right next to it that green will be enhanced by just a little bit more red in that in that color that's next to it and um i really learned that from painting studying andrus zorn and his limited palette so if you guys want to check out andrus zorn and his limited palette of um it's like a burnt red, a burnt sienna, and a, and a ivory black or a Mars black. I've used them both. I kind of like the Mars black a little bit better. It's a little bluer, but that could be the company. So here is the final result. So thanks for listening to me. Ramble on as usual. Thanks. Take care.